sports should the rest of the games go on and the best airing it out which top QBs will prevail plus Alabama with their toughest test yet our experts break down the battle in the bayou I say four of everybody shut up you know you let us work and, and then at the end of the day you'll be happy with the result as you normally are Kobe and the Lakers feeling the heat at 0-2 back in L.A. How they can stop Lob City and net their first W. Jordan versus LeBron will be debated for years to come. But what about their draft classes? You pick the best ever. Kick back. Sports Center. That's where you got to get it done. The fact is that this city has to show resiliency. I don't think it'll have any effect. Get their mind off of what's going on. We're a strong city. Yeah. They don't cancel games. No, no. You know, it's going to be a very emotional game. I don't think they should have the game. From the hurricane is more important. It seems appropriate for us to play the game. I think it's bigger things that need to be done. You can't be running a marathon through these neighborhoods. It's great for the city. It's absolutely nuts. There are people screaming to get help. Because the New York City Marathon means perseverance. The last thing I would think is watching a marathon. Welcome to a new hour of Sports Center alongside Bram Weinstein. I'm Sarah Walsh. As of right now, this weekend's games in the New York area will go on, but we now know that the race there will not. Yeah, thousands in New York remain without electricity. The allotment of resources for a marathon as opposed to helping those in need became a hot button topic. And that's the breaking news here to Sports Center. Hours after Mayor Michael Bloomberg reaffirmed his decision to allow the New York City Mar Marathon to go on as planned this weekend, a change has occurred in that thinking. Political allies of the mayor had joined a chorus of many who disagreed with the decision in the wake of Hurricane Sandy. City Council Chair Christine Quinn said publicly it's not a decision she would have made. Comptroller John Liu, who supported the mayor earlier in the week, released a statement openly questioning whether any resources should be allocated to the race. It came to a head this afternoon and the marathon has been canceled. The president of the New York Roadrunners, which is the group that benefits most and does coordinate the event, Mary Wittenberg, spoke at a press conference within the hour. We began early on trying to not wait till Sunday to help New York, but to try to have immediate impact. So I think one of our proudest moments as an organization and as the marathon was when um, yesterday, within 24 hours of learning that we we're going forward, we had rallied unprecedented support um, to actually creating what we call the um, Race to Recover campaign, which was the idea was to build and build and build to that till Marathon Sunday when the marathon would have been on television around the world and around the nation. And it was going to be sort of our version of a telethon to really raise funds for New York. So we wanted to seed that. Um, yesterday, New York Road Owners made an unprecedented donation, really from our reserves, of a million dollars. And our incredible partners, the Rudin family, donated $1.1 million. And the ING, um, our title sponsor, donated $500,000. And our caterer donated $26,200. And we had already yesterday, and we all stand by this, donated two, over $2.6 million um, for the relief effort. So we had financial support. We were continuing to take our, you know, we planned for this years and years and years. So we um, have, I'm literally for this one for the last, obviously, several months. So we have um, resources here that we were beginning to deploy and now we're actively deploying. Whatever the city needs, blankets, porta johns, water, um, food that was coming in this weekend, especially in Staten Island, all of our hearts especially heavy um, about what's happening in Staten Island. So we um, wanted to uh, get uh, as much and want to get as much of any way we can help. We're here to help. So as I just said earlier, uh, very ironically, I think the legacy of the 2012 ING New York City Marathon was in the end, we were able to most help, um, unfortunately, without running. Wittenberg revealed that among the contingency plans was potentially to shorten the race. It wasn't going to be a marathon potentially this weekend. 
She also joined Mayor Bloomberg in releasing this joint statement. While holding the race would not require diverting resources from the recovery effort, it is clear that it has become a source of controversy and division. The marathon has always brought our city together and inspired us with stories of courage and determination. We would not want a cloud to hang over the race or its participants, and so we have decided to cancel it. We cannot allow a controversy over an athletic event, even one as meaningful as this, to distract attention away from all the critically important work that is being done to recover from the storm and get our city back on track. Let's walk a bit Stephen A. Smith, who is at the Garden for the Knicks and Heat tonight. We'll get into the game in a minute. But as a native New Yorker, Stephen A., what is your reaction to the marathon being canceled? Well, I'm very happy about it. I don't think it's something that should have been uh, planned to begin with. I think the minute that this uh, natural catastrophe took place, it should never have been a consideration for the marathon at all. Understand that you're talking about uh, a displaced community. You have an abundance of people displaced. You've got floods all over the place, including the subway system. You've got blocks carted off and carted off and things of that nature. Yet you're going to have a marathon that's running through Staten Island, through the Bronx, through Queens, through Brooklyn, through Manhattan. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Even if you could pull it off, it still doesn't touch on a level of insensitivity that was surrounding the situation and the fact that it just all appeared to be about money. $340 million in projected revenue, that is something that could be made up for. You're not talking about them canceling it. You're talking about a postponement. So considering the fact that we were talking about a postponement, it should have never been something that was considered to begin with. The fact that it was even considered, and the mayor had, had, had repeated on numerous occasions that it was something that should take place, was just egregious in and of itself. Yeah, the numbers in themselves, $340 million, do go towards normal race conditions. It was curious as to what was going to happen if they did run the race under these conditions. You know, Stephen, we ran a poll on ESPN.com. About two-thirds of the respondents thought that the marathon should be run. Now, this was before the announcement was made. You're on the ground there. you got a radio show in New York. How are New Yorkers feeling about this? Well, a lot of New Yorkers are relieved that it's, it's not being considered. I mean, you have a few folks that thought that the marathon should go on. But by and large, the public in New York knows that this should have never been a consideration. It should have been no way that a marathon was taking place, uh, considering it, uh, the fact that it's taking place this week and made it even more egregious. There's just no excuse for it. Again, I can't reiterate this enough. I'm at Madison Square Garden where a basketball game is taking place, a basketball game that some of us believe should have been taking place. But at least if it's going to happen, you're talking talking about it being you're talking about it being in one venue you're talking about people descending upon 33rd street and 8th avenue or whatever the case may be a marathon you're running all over the city okay and not only that you're using resources tents are being put up generators are being used other blocks are being carted off because a race is taking place it's just the height of insensitivity if you would have went through with this marathon because what you're doing is you're putting displaced into individuals on the back burner. There simply would have been no excuse for it, and it's something that I've been saying the moment that they said they were going to still have the marathon. And ultimately, the mayor does agree with that viewpoint. It has canceled the race. That's Stephen A. Smith at Madison Square Garden, who will rejoin us later here to preview the game, the Knicks, the Knicks and the Heat on ESPN. Now, we ran another poll later after the decision was made, and we wondered, do you now agree with this new decision to cancel the New York City Marathon? And an overwhelming percentage, nearly 84%, do agree with that decision. This is a change in position. Mayor Bloomberg met the media around 12.30 this afternoon and explained why at the time the marathon would continue. If you remember, if you remember, you go back to 9-11, I think uh, Rudy made the right decision in those days to run the marathon. It pulled people together, and we have to find some ways to uh, express ourselves and show our solidarity with each other. And joining us now, ESPN track and field analyst and marathon commentator Larry Rawson. You were set to host the worldwide feed on Sunday. Earlier today, you were vocal about this race being run. So what is your reaction now to the cancellation? Well, I'm actually over at the uh, race headquarters at the Hilton Hotel, and I see a lot of long faces here, people in the lobby who have come all the way, you know, from other countries that are staying here. Um, I was just up in the elite athlete area, too, and these people are just walking around staring at the ground. Now, this is not about them when I say that. I really want to emphasize, I think people are very sensitive to the issues that we have all experienced because I live in New York City throughout this whole effort. Um, I don't know what Stephen A. Smith knows when he says this is postponed. The only word up here that they're saying is that it's not postponed so far anyway. It's canceled. So 
So there's obviously a great deal of logistics that have to go into 42,000 people headed to New York here for this event at this point. 8,000 volunteers take the pressure off city workers to do things such as erect tents and, and do things, and they have 8,000 volunteers for this event. Um, forget forget the, the mess that the whole event is in right now, but... You know, I, I, I only go back to the money angle because there's only we, – we people who are here in this event are not asked uh, to go down and try and help find people. Uh, hopefully there's nobody else left to be found. But there's not much that we can do in the Lower East Side. You have to leave that to professionals. What you can do is help out financially by donations. We do it all the most giving nation in the world. Long story short, we keep giving money to cancer research and everything else to try and help our fellow Americans all the time. This event would have generated quite a bit of money that would have helped a city that's pretty beleaguered in its own way here. And I did the math on this, and if if $300 million was the economic impact into this event uh, that it would contribute to the city, that's very meaningful. No other sporting event brings this in. And when you do a pre-tax analysis on this, and I'm a math guy with a background in this stuff, and then thirty million in charities that if the athletes had run that they had pledges for that much of that may not come in now at all uh, and then you throw city and sales tax on the three hundred million that New York gets of twelve point three seven five percent long story short, it could come out to as much as a hundred million dollars won 't be coming in now, and I think much of that would have been beneficial to people who work here and also to release from the problems of Hurricane Sandy. You know, I haven't heard any complaints, by the way, of the NFL football game in New Jersey being held here on Sunday. And, you know, no talk of cancellation of that out of sympathy in New Jersey in many ways might have even been hurt worse overall than New York. Both of them suffered devastation. But, you know, it's a fair point to probably bring up. Larry Rawson with the reaction that the New York City Marathon has been canceled for Sunday. Well, he mentioned the Giants-Steelers game Sunday tonight in New York at Madison Square Garden. It's the Knicks in the heat. The marquee lit up outside. Inside, no shortage of star power with LeBron and the defending champs in town. Some see this as a welcome distraction from the devastation. Others just think it distracts from what's really important. Dwayne Wade initially tweeting this about the Heat's trip to New York. Three-hour traffic just to get into the New York City. Come on, man. And then he clarified with a second tweet, saying, to be clear, traffic tweet was meant to say, we shouldn't be here to play a basketball game when there's so many families, obviously, still are affected by Sandy. Wade told our Rachel Nichols he's going to be personally donating to relief efforts, his salary this evening. He and his teammates putting this in perspective. I just felt that it was, you know, bigger things to be concerned about than us being here to play a basketball game. You know, obviously sports is things that take people minds away from things, but, you know, I, I think it's bigger things that need to be done, you know, here in the city. I think we all are in agreement when we say that, you know, getting, you know, everything situated and getting everything back up running from, from the hurricane is more important than the basketball game, but there's also people that believe that, you know, we need this basketball game for, you know, a lot of spirits and a lot of families. So, you know, I've, I'm kind of 50-50 with it as well. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here to play a basketball game. But at the same time, if the people that's here at the basketball game or, you know, the people that's helping out with this game could give their efforts to make the city run or make these families come out of the situation, then I think that's more important. The garden is an environment that's so electric sometimes, and you've taken advantage of that, had big scoring nights here. What kind of vibe do you expect from the crowd tonight? Uh, I believe there will be, a, you know, maybe a, mo a moment of silence, but I think the emotions will overcome the silence once the game, you know, and excitement, you know, begins from... Not only their Knicks, but from both teams. So we were curious, what do you think? Should this game go on tonight in light of the fact that the marathon was canceled? Only one state, Wyoming, suggested that no, that should not happen. 49 states said yes, and the overwhelming majority, 68%, say play on at the Garden. And they will in a little under one hour. And here's the Knicks, who were scheduled to play their opener last night, but at the behest of the mayor, the opener in Brooklyn against the Nets was canceled. So this is the season opener for the New York Knicks. Tip it eight on ESPN, Noah Mari, he's got knee issues. Meantime, a no injury concerns for the Heat. There's LeBron and company. Here come the champs to the Garden. They've been sympathetic, as you heard, to all the issues surrounding the city. This is game two for them. They've been off since Tuesday. A win at home in their opener over the Celtics.